Hey, what's up guys? So one of the most common questions I get here on the channel has to do with equipment like uh, what's the best meter I can buy? What scope are you working with there? And you know, I usually don't get into it because I'm not too picky about my equipment and uh, honestly, I'm not an expert either in that field. So uh, for example, I, I carry around this Mastec MS8209 uh, in my bag every day. I've probably had this meter for 10 years and uh, you can tell it's cheap. I think I spent like $60 on it. The, the silk screen's all rubbing off of it. Um, the, the rubber on the side here is all discoloring and kind of rotting out. So, But it's a great meter and I've carried this around and it's got the job done. Uh, but I will say in my professional experience, um, I've usually only run into fluke meters. So I, if you can get your hands on a fluke or even a, a, a good Agilent meter, something like that, uh, that's the way to go. But these meters cost you know, hundreds of dollars. Uh, you can get a used one for, for pretty cheap. Uh, but anyway, I was recently watching one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, AVE, and he mentioned that you can get fluke meters off, uh, off of your typical auction websites for cheap. And these are Chinese fluke meters. So I don't know what's going on with fluke, but it seems like maybe they're trying to gain some market share in China. And uh, you can only buy these meters in China. In fact, if you buy these meters in the U.S., the warranty is, uh, is void. So uh, sure enough, went to an auction website because I am a total you know, gear junkie here. And $80 later, shipped is a brand new fluke 15B+. Plus. And this thing is the real deal here. It's it's it feels like a fluke, you know. And in, in all the flukes I've worked with, this thing feels heavy duty. Um, so and and really giant display on this thing. It's a great meter, and for only eighty dollars, it's totally crazy. I mean, this thing this thing is great. In fact, I like this better than most of the fluke meters I've worked with. So, uh, so yeah, what's, what's cool about this too is it's got a uh, milliamp microamp uh, uh, jack here. So, so you can really get down in the mud when you're working with uh, low power design. So that's kind of cool. Um, but honestly, you know, I had, I'm not a meter expert. I, I did take it apart just to see, you know, what's under the hood, if there's anything scary. And uh, it all looks legit. I mean, I don't really know what I'm looking for here. But, uh, you know, I've seen some cheap meters where it's all through hole components. There's like hot glue and a million little trim pots and stuff like that. And, you know, you can tell that those are cheapy, crappy meters. But uh, this one looks okay. So time will, <laughs> time will tell to see if this is actually a decent meter. But uh, I do have a, a calibrated Keithley 2000 up here. This is a six and a half digit benchtop meter. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to just, you know, let's run some, some, uh, some voltages and currents through this meter and let's see how it compares to that. Now, obviously, this is a brand new calibrated meter. So, well, it's, it's calibrated off of the line, whatever they do. But uh, in a year from now, let's see if it actually holds Cal. So anyway, Leia, let's, uh, let's, let's test this thing out. Okay, so we're going to measure voltage here first, and uh, you can see right now I'm putting 3 volts into it, and the, uh, the calibrated meter up here, 3.002, we're getting 3.001 over here on the fluke, and uh, that's perfectly fine. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and drop this voltage down now and see what, what we can do. So uh, let's see what we want to do here. Okay, so there's a hundred millivolts, and you can see here we've got 100.08. Uh, over on the fluke, we're getting 0 0.099. Uh, again, we're measuring a, a DC voltage here, and uh, I'm using a Keithley 2400 source measure unit as the supply for this. So, you know, that's not too bad. Let's throw it over to the millivolt scale here. Ah, there we go. So 100.1. And we've got 100.1 there up on the uh, the Keithley 2000. So that's pretty good. Let's keep dropping it. Okay, 10 millivolts. We've got 10.02 millivolts. Uh, and then on the meter here, we've got, well, we did have 10 there, but we've got, there it is, 10.0. And uh, psh, that's pretty good. Let's keep dropping it. 
Okay, we've got 1.02 millivolts there. The meter's showing 0.9 millivolts there. Up oh, there's one millivolt, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, now let's try some current measurements. Okay, and so now we're measuring current, and I've got it set for one amp. So we're measuring 1.00075 amps there on the meter, and perfect. Bang on, we've got 1.000 on the fluke. Uh, let's drop that down now. Okay, there's 100 milliamps. So we've got 99.99 .99 up there on the Keithley. We've got 0 .099 there. I'll throw it down to the milliamp scale. In fact, what I'll do is change this over to the milliamp jack. There we go. Kick that on. There it is. 99.9 .9 milliamps. Okay, cool. Let's keep dropping it. Okay, so now we're doing 10 milliamps. So it's 9.99 9 there up on the Keithley. 9.98 there. So this is this is great. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we've got 1.001 1 8 milliamps there up on the Keithley and we've got 0.99 milliamps here on the meter. Let's keep dropping it. Okay, actually I kicked it over to the microamp scale and now we're reading 1000 microamps, so that's perfect, 1 milliamp. Let's uh now let's keep dropping it dropping it from there. Okay, we're really getting in the mud here now. So this is um, 100 microamps. So this is 100.11 uh, microamps, and we've got 99.8 microamps here on the fluke. So let's keep dropping that and see what happens. Okay, so there's 50 microamps. We're getting 50.12 there, 49.9. So that's that's pretty good. Okay, there's 20 microamps. We're getting 20.12 and 19.9 .9 on the fluke. And 10 is right there, 10.12. We're getting 9.9 .9 there. And this will be crazy, but let's see if it can do it. There's uh, 1.13 microamps, and this is reading 0.9. So yeah, getting down to one microamp is going to be more than uh, more than more than what I really was expecting to be able to measure with a eighty dollar fluke meter. So uh, I'm extremely impressed with this, and obviously I didn't get into AC uh, AC voltage current. I didn't get into measuring ohms or the capacitance scale or anything like that. But oh, and by the way, it's got a really nice backlight on it too. I forgot to mention that. So, uh, you know, there's a lot more to it than, than just measuring a few, you know, uh, voltages and currents there. But, uh, and again, after time, we'll see, you know, after a year, we'll come back, we'll test it out again, we'll see if it held uh, its calibration and uh, take it from there. So, you know, there you have it, an $80 fluke that's keeping up with my uh, Keithley 2000 there. So I'm really impressed. This is definitely going to be my new go-to meter that I carry around in my bag. So there you go. Little tip there for you. Thanks for watching.